Hello everyone and welcome to what will be an attempt at a COVID-19 inspirated pour. Um, I saw the illustration that the, uh, I think it's the CDC, the Center for Disease Control in the United States, uh, they've made it one with the grey and red and orange colours uh, and I find them quite beautiful together. So, um, in these strange days of crisis I thought I'd see if I could have that spill into my painting. So, um, Still in that kind of new uh, negative space uh, style. So I'll be doing this in a similar way to the previous uh, deep blue video I posted, uh, but with different colors. Uh, everything else is basically the same. Uh, the technique, the pouring medium, uh, but different colors. So in the cup that you see has been turned upside down. There is quite a bit of the um, paint spray that I'm now covering the canvas with. Uh, I've lightened it slightly because I, I had a go at this a few days ago. It didn't turn out so well. And um, find the paint grey to be a bit too dark um, so I brighten it with a little bit of sink white or mixing white as some call it uh, that is a translucent white as opposed to the titanium white which is opaque um, <clears throat> yeah so that's both in the cup and will be the background color for the canvas uh, in addition, there is mainly a ASO orange and a naphthol red, deep. Uh, and there's a little bit of the sink white in there as well, not much. Uh, and a little bit of a caput mortem violet which is kind of light greyish violet. Uh, I think it's quite beautiful. I wasn't sure about adding it to this pour, but I figured I wanted one more color in there. And that's the one that kind of spoke to me from my shelf of Amsterdam acrylic tubes of paint. So, it ended up in the cup. Okay, so canvas covered. Going to torch to get rid of some air bubbles. Don't know if I mentioned this before, but what I do in preparing um, I make sure that my canvas is level. Don't trust your table to be level. Um, keep uh, the carpentry tools handy. Use a level and check. Because if it's not level, your, pa your paints will keep on sliding uh, when you leave it to dry. Um, and what might have looked like a beautiful painting when you wake up the day after it will look completely different and very often not too nice so I'm torching the bottom of the cup to uh, have some air seep into the cup uh, you 
could also just slightly lift the cup from the canvas. Um, just make sure that you don't lift it, lift it all the way up. You want the paint to slide out under the uh, color that I poured around the cup. Uh, okay. So keeping with the negative space, I'm going to slide it around a bit, but not all the way to the edge. I tried to use a bit less painting than in my previous blue one. Um, not sure how I actually managed, but I guess we'll find out any minute. Um, this looks promising. So I'll find my torch. Actually, I'm gonna pop that big air bubble pin first. The reason why I do that is so I don't have to kind of go all in on that bubble because that will create a lot of cells where the torch hits. And I try to be patient and control my torching so that um, I don't end up with cells all over the place. If you want that, go mad with the torch. Personally, I don't like it much, so I try to have some restraint uh, with my torch. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that middle bit as it is because I think it looks quite nice and dramatic with how the colors have blended. Um, so I'll have the cells in the outer parts of the painting. You can see if I can, I think something will happen here and there. No. That is what I'll get. Okay, so, um, beautiful cells. I want to try and expand them a little bit. So I'm going to uh, do my stretching part where I carefully slide the paint towards one end. And then carefully back towards the other end. Look at these, it's beautiful. Um, I don't, I'm not getting the COVID-19 feeling that I was hoping for, but um, this is quite gorgeous on its own anyways, so um, yeah, I'm going to be happy with this one. Uh, the red and the orange look really nice uh, against the dark grey background. I'm actually loving this. Now I'm at the point where I probably should stop moving the paint, but I can't help myself. So I'm going to go a little bit further, but I'm going to stop right here. Take a look at that. What do you think? Um, I find that quite striking myself. Um, yeah, so just swipe around the edges. Make sure they're covered. Oh, there's a spot. Um, 
and this will be left to dry. Um, so what do you think? Um, leave me a comment and uh, I'll get back to you if you have any questions, whatever. Um, yeah, I'll post a kind of photograph of the painting at the end of the video so you can see kind of properly and with a with an added frame that I do in my Woon app. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe and healthy and be creative. Bye.